Sarah with itsyourgrade.com. In this video, we're going to talk about significant figures. Well, what exactly are significant figures? Significant figures are those numbers in which we definitely know. They're not estimated. But how do you calculate significant figures, or how do you determine how many are within a number? Well, that's what we're going to talk about. There are five main rules to keep in mind. The first rule is that all non-zeros count. Non-zeros count. So if you have the number 6.04, the 6 is a non-zero and the 4 is a non-zero. So they're considered significant. If you have the number 0 0.00504, again, the 5 is a non-zero and so is the 4. So those are significant numbers. The second rule is that the zeros between numbers they are also significant. So in the previous example, 6.04, the zero is now significant. In the second example, 0 0.00504, the zero in the middle is also significant. The third rule is that all zeros after the first non-zero are significant. So if you have 6.00. This is the first non-zero, and these are the zeros that follow, and they are significant. The fourth rule is that all zeros before the first non-zero are not significant, so they don't count. If you have 0.00054, Five, four. This is the first non-zero. These zeros, they are not significant. They do not count. We don't know those for sure. The fifth rule has to deal with exact numbers. Exact numbers are numbers that have infinite number of significant figures. For example, if you have one inch equals 2.54, this is an exact value. So there is infinite number of sig figs. Those are the five main rules. But what happens when you run into calculations where you're adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing? What do you do? Well, we're going to go over those. For adding and subtracting, you're looking at the least number of decimal places. So if you have 5.04 plus 3.2. Well, this one has one, two decimal places. And this one has only one decimal. The lowest one wins, which is one decimal. What you do is you draw a line cutting off that one decimal place. So if we add this up, you get 4, 2.8. Um, this here side is going to be your keep numbers, and this side is your throwaway numbers. If the number right after the line is greater than 5, you would round the number before it up. In this case, it's less, so we're not going to do any rounding. So your answer is just going to be 8.2, with one decimal place as we predicted. And that's how you do significant figures with adding and subtracting. But what about multiplying and dividing? Well, obviously, they have different rules. In this case, you're going to be concerned about the least number of decimal places. So if you have 5.45 times 3, for example, in this case, we have 1, 2, 3 sig figs. And here we have only one sig fig. So our answer has to have one sig fig. So if we multiply this out, we get 15, 12, 13, 15, 16, two decimal places. There we go. But we have a problem now because we want one sig fig, but this is four. So what you have to do is you have to use scientific notation. Remember that this is a number that's greater than one, so we're going to have a positive exponent. So we want to move the decimal to the right one. This is one points, oh I'm sorry, we want one sig fig, right? 
this number is going to have to round up so it actually becomes 2 times 10 to, we only moved it one place, so 2 to the 1. And that's how you do si or significant figures with adding and subtracting.